live from the Miami Boat Show. Hey everyone, Greg with Sundowner Cats. And Laurel, her back is to us. A little Miami skyline heading on the water taxi over to Strictly Sail. We just spent a little time over at the uh, powerboat section checking out some of the uh, accessories and uh, electronics and a few other items related to sailboats. But uh, we're going to head back over to Strictly Sail, going to uh, meander around the Palm Peugeot dock, uh, get a little bit more video of the Helia 44, our new event. Here you can see we stepped onto the deck of the uh, Helia 44. This particular version has non-skid. You can also get the uh, synthetic teak, which we got on our version, cockpit refrigerator, just a nice open air feeling. Everything opens up from the salon into the cockpit. Plenty of seating, uh, very comfortable with storage in all the lazarettes. And new this year is this uh, transom seating, which just makes entertainment that much more desirable. You also see on the transom to port is a power winch connected to the davit system, so making uh, raising and lowering your dinghy a cinch. Just a nice free flow um, and plenty of seating. So here we're looking at the underside of the hardtop in the cockpit. There's a nice skylight uh, as well as a hatch that opens up for uh, very nice ventilation. Great LEDs uh, all throughout. Just a, uh, again, great gel coat. Really wide hardtop that goes almost port to starboard. Here you see the optional cockpit refrigerator as well as the helm steps with the life raft storage below the helm steps. They are teak. Uh, and what we're going to see here is just a nice view aft. From the salon or the threshold uh, looking looking aft again plenty of seating just a great uh, use of space that hard top covering uh, almost uh, starboard to port uh, just a, a very open air feeling here we're looking at the volvo penta diesel uh, d2 they said it was the 55 but i'm guessing it might be the 50 horse because i think there's an issue with the 55 but nonetheless you can see plenty of space in, in the uh, engine compartments, plenty uh, of, of room to work uh, with changing your fuel filters, uh, any other type of service. Everything is tidied up nice and neat uh, and finished off really well. Here is a transom shower, which is located to port. And shore power, which is on the starboard aft. Here we're going to walk up the starboard deck. Uh, a couple things to note. Um, we will talk about the helm here in a little bit. I'm not going to cover the helm right now. But as you see walking up the starboard deck, you do have a, a nice stainless steel grab rail coming from the hard top from the cockpit. However, forward of the helm, you do not have that. So um, you may want to think about po possibly installing one separately if that's... Uh, you know of, of importance to you i would think in rough seas uh, you may you may want to think about that also uh, on the decks think about the raised hatches this is one thing i'm not a fan of with fountain peugeot these hatches are raised a couple of inches i wish they were flush it just makes for a potential of stubbing your toes uh, or ripping the hatch off with someone's feet or shoes uh, in rough seas and then there is a waste uh, disposal for uh, the head uh, on this side as we continue to move starboard, you see the bow seat on the starboard side. It is teak, uh, so that we'll need to, to take care of some maintenance, but uh, nonetheless, uh, just a nice cool little seat. And as you see the trampoline, uh, very spacious, uh, goes across with the bow sprit underneath, uh, but a very nice uh, secure trampoline. And we'll now take a look uh, back um, uh, starboard all the way aft, uh, just a, a nice walkway, nice plenty of room. Okay, so now we're at the bow of the boat. We're checking out the bow sprit. Highly recommend getting this factory installed as opposed to anything aftermarket. Uh, but as you can see, nice bow sprit. They, uh, they do a great job. I love the look of this uh, from Fountain Peugeot. We also see the roller furl. So we're going to take a look at that here, the pro furler. Uh, this is uh, just a, another, another great option to have. Uh, I believe it does come standard um, on two of the three packages from Fountain Peugeot. Here we have the Cummins Onin generator. Uh, it is on the starboard side, just in front of the salon. It is an 11 KW, sits in its own compartment. 
plenty of room for maintenance uh, to work on it as well as storage for other items and it'll be uh, nice and balanced on the bolt because opposite locker on the port side are the two water tanks so from a weight standpoint they really balance each other out nicely Here we have a uh, huge storage locker. This could also be another berth if you wanted to, but this is starboard up front. You also can have the same identical one port up front. Uh, again, I, I would highly recommend using them as storage lockers uh, sealed completely and offers just a tremendous amount of space. Okay, so now we're heading down the port side of the deck, uh, going aft. You can still see there is, uh, there's still that need for that grab rail uh, up front on the roof of the salon. You still have the raised hatches as well. But nonetheless, uh, you know, everything nice and tidy and neat. Uh, all, all sheets and lines heading back to the helm for easy control. Uh, and the gel coat is just really phenomenal on this boat. They do a really, really good job of, of having top quality gel code it's just uh it, it's something that speaks to the quality of what fountain Peugeot puts together we'll cover some of the cushions in that sun lounge in the helm video as stated before uh, but it's a really nice addition all right so here's that sun lounge i've been talking to you guys about uh, just a great Great use of space. You can lay down, room for several people to sit up there. It's accessible to the helm and easily communicatable, as you can see, right to the helm. So everyone can be together if uh, if, if driving the boat and uh, with all your winches and whatnot coming back to the helm. We're going to talk about the functionality of this in, in another view. Here you have where the uh, solar panels would be mounted. This is just behind the sun lounge and on the aft portion of the hardtop for the uh, cockpit. So plenty of room for solar panels. Uh, just a great, uh, great design. Here now you have a view of the helm. What's really cool about the helm here is that in front of where the actual wheel and, and, and instruments are, are the winches. So, and, and it's wide open to the starboard deck. So it's a nice pass through uh, for a couple of things. You can you can get out in front there and you've got room to work with your winches and your and your sheets as you're as you're working them. But also as you're docking the boat, you can easily step to starboard uh, from there and step and it's a level step. You're not stepping up or stepping down. You step right across and you can get right to the dock, uh, whether you're coming in with a line uh, and, and you're doing it single handedly, very easy. Uh, to handle and maneuver this boat. All right, so here we're in the port hall. We are uh, forward with the stateroom forward, double bed, plenty of headroom, lots of light, as you can see, uh, nice and airy feeling. Uh, and this has its separate head which has a separate shower. So again, in the Helia 44 owner's version, the port hull has the two cabin, two head option, uh, which, is, uh, which is just a great use of space, as you can see. I love having the separate shower. Uh, it keeps everything nice and clean and keeps all the water away. This hallway, nice and wide, easy to navigate, lots of headroom. I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. And now you see the aft stateroom with an island berth, folks. This is the same size as what's in the owner's cabin. Uh, and this is great to have an island berth. You don't have to disturb your loved one when you get out of bed in the middle of the night to use the head, as we see right here, a sister head to what we saw up front. Again, separate shower. Back to that island berth. It makes it easy to make the bed. You're not having to crawl and tuck things into a corner. Uh, and also think about mobility down the road. If you're lacking a little mobility, uh, getting off to the side and out of bed is much easier than having to navigate uh, getting out of bed um, when you're tucked against the wall. So uh, something definitely to think about. Some of the, the other catamaran manufacturers uh, that are even bigger have narrower holes, so they have uh, they, they they do not have island bursts even in the owner's stateroom. So it's something to think about uh, to each his own. But for me, that's important, as you see here. 
plenty of storage. Uh, this is in the aft cabin. They've got lots of storage up in the in the forward cabin as well. There's Laurel from Sundowner Cats. Uh, there's uh, easy access into the floors, uh, as, as, as we can see. And then, uh, of course, uh, up in the front, you've got hanging lockers. You've got access to uh, mechanicals behind these. So just a good use of space. All right, so here we're coming down into the owner's suite on the starboard hull. We'll start uh, aft in the actual stateroom, and then another island berth. Uh, we're going to you know, not belabor the point about the island berth. Huge headroom, plenty of windows to open, plenty of light, plenty of ventilation, and lots of storage. There's another vent for ventilation. You have a little desk area or makeup table uh, for the ladies. Lots of storage here you can see up top below uh, and in the middle with shelves just a lot of places to put things and I'm going to tell you uh, also underneath the island burst you have a full dresser drawer that pulls out for linens or whatever you want to keep in there the beauty about this owner's version I love right here this is like an armoire folks this thing is huge it opens up double door shelving up top plenty of room for hanging clothes and even things below shoes down on the floor and, uh, and again, another awesome thing about the owner's suite in the Helia 44, a separate head. So your head is separate from the rest of the bathroom. That's important to me also. I don't need myself or my wife, anyone in there while, while I'm trying to shower, doing other types of business. It's just, you know, it makes it nice and neat and easy. Again, plenty of storage here. You can see Laurel. This is uh, in the shower, forward of the shower. That's where a washer dryer would go. Uh, as well as more storage uh, for, for items that is uh, a dry storage behind the shower. Here you have uh, a, a toiletry, uh, kind of like a, a medicine cabinet, if you will. Super deep, just plenty of room in there. And then we have the vanity itself, single basin vanity. Nice and wide, though. It's got a lot of width to it. And then below, you've got plenty of storage below. And then a little shelf above, just, just where the mirror is. Uh, I can tell you, folks, this shower is huge. You can fit three adults in here a nice closure and, and i'm going to talk about the point again not having that actual head that actual toilet in the bathroom opens this up big time and it also allows for privacy it's really phenomenal